What is the Lightning Network? In this video, you're going to learn what the Lightning Network is, how it works, and why it can be helpful. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, our YouTube channel that's dedicated to explaining cryptocurrency topics in an easy to understand format using stories, analogies, and examples. We haven't really finalized our slogan yet, but we keep mentioning that you could show our videos to your grandparents and they would be able to understand it, which is saying something, because a few days ago my grandpa thought Ethereum mining was pulling particles out of the air to create an actual coin. Anyways, let's dig in. So what is the Lightning Network? In short, the Lightning Network is an off-chain ledger for Bitcoin to keep transaction fees low and faster than the actual Bitcoin blockchain. It is technically considered a layer 2 solution to help scale Bitcoin. So before we dive too deep into this, you need to know some basics about Bitcoin. First, Bitcoin is coded to only perform around 7 transactions per second. This means only the transactions from the senders who pay the highest fees will get validated. And since Bitcoin is very popular, the fee to be included in the blockchain block has been up to $50 in the past. Imagine paying for your coffee and they tell you there's a $50 fee. And oh yeah, to stay true to the analogy of Bitcoin, imagine it would take 10 minutes before your purchase was confirmed, because that's how long a Bitcoin block takes to be validated. So these are some major problems. Visa, on the other hand, which has been used for a few years now at major retailers, can process up to over 50,000 transactions a second, and their fees are very low. They are also immediate. This is a reason you can pull your card out and swipe it at the grocery store or your local coffee shop. It's quick, it's easy, and it's cheap to use. That is the major problem that the Lightning Network tries to solve though. Let me go through an example really quickly so you can understand roughly how the Lightning Network works. Let's say you go to the bar and you buy a drink. You pay for it, including the Bitcoin transaction fee. And maybe that night it was around $20. As the night comes to an end, you've bought six drinks and you've paid the transaction fee six times, which the transaction fee was more than the drinks. But you're six drinks in, so it doesn't really matter much to you. Well, a week later, you come back to the bar ready to tackle the beast, because this time you're aware of what the bar did to your Bitcoin wallet. You tell the barkeep, keep track of how many I order and charge me for them all at once at the end of the night. Oh yeah, add something in a little extra for yourself too. This is the idea of a bar tab, and this is exactly how the Lightning Network works. Now, you only have to pay one single transaction fee, instead of a whole bunch. Alright, alright, that example only used two participants, you and the barkeep. Let's go over another example with a few different participants, because that's the benefit of using the Lightning Network. Let's say I come into a coffee shop and I buy a $10 coffee because some big name brands out there apparently like to use gold in their espresso, and I decide to pay with Bitcoin. Well, because of this, the fee is $20, so I pay $30 for my $10 coffee. A few days later, the coffee shop decides to pay its workers using Bitcoin. It pays them $500 in Bitcoin each, but it also pays the $20 fee. Then one of the workers goes to a local grocery store with their new Bitcoin and pays for some fruits. Probably some apples, potatoes, or pineapples. At least if they watched any of our other videos. They spend $20 of their Bitcoin and pay a $20 fee. Lucky for me, I actually work at that grocery store. So I tell the grocery store I want to be paid in Bitcoin and they decide to try it out. They pay the $20 fee even though they only subtracted it from my pay. Now, so far in this list of transactions, we have a $10 transaction, a $500 transaction, a $20 transaction, and then lastly, another $500 transaction. And in each of these, we've paid a $20 fee each time, which totals to $80 in fees. Well, when we think about it, where did some of that money come from and where did it go? Some of it came from me and eventually made its way back around to me, at least $10 of it. What if there was a way I could have just kept my initial $10 and avoided those high fees? Well, this is the idea of the Lightning Network. It goes, hey, Bitcoin transactions are really expensive right now and pretty slow. So how about you give us your Bitcoin and we'll keep a record of how much you have based on your transactions on our cheaper and faster network. Then, when you want real Bitcoins, just let us know and we'll mark our own records and send you a real Bitcoin. This way, you only pay us once and we only pay you once. That's essentially how it works. You and someone else deposit money into a multi-signature wallet and create what is called a payment channel. In this payment channel, you and someone else can send money back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you decide to settle up and square up the payment channel with the main Bitcoin blockchain. Basically, you're creating a bunch of IOUs off of the blockchain. Then when both parties 
parties agree to finalize all transaction, you put one single transaction on the blockchain. Now you might be wondering at this point, wouldn't it be expensive and tiring if I had to open up a whole bunch of payment channels every time I wanted to pay someone or get paid? Well, that's a good question. However, think back to our coffee shop example. What if all of that was off chain and I basically just kept my $10 IOU instead of the money gathering fees going from me to the coffee shop to the worker to the grocery store and then back to me? I mean, essentially that $10 is where it was in the first place. Well, it's called the Lightning Network and it works very similar to the way that a lightning bolt looks. Using a system of payment channels, we can move money money around in between people who already have payment channels. For example, let's say I wanted to send you a payment for clicking the like button on this video. However, there's not a payment channel between both of us, but we both have a payment channel open with Coinbase though. So I tell the network, I want to pay you $20 and it'll route that $20 from me to Coinbase and then from Coinbase to you. So basically I paid you even though we used Coinbase as an intermediary. Well, imagine a network with 100,000 people to where it's all interconnected and once you join that network, you can send your IOU version of a Bitcoin almost instantly, almost free and very easily. That is what the Lightning Network is. So to conclude, the Lightning Network is a system set up to send Bitcoin payments without the high fees and without waiting on the 10 minute block time. Theoretically, the Lightning Network could scale up to a couple million transactions per second. Some people think this will be the next cryptocurrency version of Visa. As we're ending this video, we don't really want to go into the specifics of the Lightning Network because that's for another video. This was just an overview. But we hope that you enjoyed this video and most of all, we hope that you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos and rewarding our hard work of creating honest, high quality animated videos of cryptocurrency topics. We hope to see you in the next video.